Oh, hey, Deb looking after us here in the media booth. Just try talking straight. But yeah, I can't talk straight now. I couldn't talk straight before. <laughs> green or yellow. Still 7 to 3 here today. 15:30 to go in this second period. It'll do it on that.
half. back to you. Some technical difficulties. We're getting through it. A perfect technological world. A little bit of uh, aggressiveness out there. <laughs> and why not? I guess that seems to be part of the lacrosse game here. 7-3. to three. Guelph with the four-goal lead and Pacers Got to be getting frustrated. They've not yet had a win this year. Adam Dumont from Royal LePage, one of our sponsors here tonight. Thanks, Adam. I think Adam's just headed to Florida, actually, so give him a week or two, but he'll be back uh, supporting uh, one of our broadcasts here tonight. Also, uh, a gentleman who put together Sarnia Sings, which happened on Thursday night in support of Suicide prevention and mental health here in Sarnia Lampton. Thanks, Adam, for your support. Pacers out in front, a shot on Guelph. And saved Martin Cole in goal for Guelph. Now back down to the Pacers zone. Shot. And there's another one for Guelph, 8-3, to three, and this just is like deja vu. All over again. All over. My friend Rod here saying, yep, here we go again. So last game was 18-8, uh, to eight, I believe, was the score of the last game here for the Pacers. Back out to center floor, and 13-16 remaining. Pacers better change something. A scramble for the ball. 21 picks it up, and it's knocked away. Tough break for Nate Armstrong. Barnes with the ball. Over to Adams. Adams. Over to Burr. Or sorry, Conroy. Corey Conroy with a one goal for the season this year. Guelph takes the ball. Eight to three. A shot on the goal. Pass way down. Number seven fails to pick it up. Burr looking. There's a shot and a goal. Just what the Pacers need to keep going here. Eight to four, they got a ways to go. They can't allow any more gap in here or they're gonna end up like they did last time. Once you get to a certain point, you know, you look at if you had eight minutes to go, that means you better get a goal every minute if you need eight of them, right? That's simple math, but Pacers can't afford to let that gap go by. You can also check things out, all your scores and updates at juniorpacers.com. And, of course, we're on Twitter and Facebook as well. hope you'll check that out. And we're broadcasting you from the Video Show Network. I'm David Burroughs, your broadcaster here tonight. Thanks for joining us. Knowles, Burr, and Knowles all involved in there. Lucas Knowles, number 66, a goal for the Pacers. And a pass down to Knowles. A shot. Knowles picks up the rebound. A shot and goal. Yes. Very nice play for the Pacers. Something they need. Now 8-5. to five. Great, great work out there. See, we know they've got it in them. They just got to get a little focus like that and take advantage of these opportunities. 8-5. to five. Right now, I'm back out to center floor. Our referees, John Watson and Mike Jolly, keeping things organized out on the floor here tonight so far. And the whistle goes, and we're off again. Pacers got to be feeling some good adrenaline out there right now. Jacob Knowles with that goal again. Number 
or sorry, Lucas Knowles, my apologies, number 66. Corey Burr with the assist in there. 8-5. to five. Closing the gap here on Guelph. Still time to make it happen. If Pacers can keep playing the way they have in the last two minutes, a shot on goal. And no goal on the Pacers. Knowles with the ball. Conroy with the ball right now, looking for an opening. A setup shot and saved. Nice attempt. Another shot. We've got to keep working at it and setting up these shots like they were. The last two goals were well played out textbook, if you will, goals. And I've just got to keep it up, working hard. Pick up the ball, a shot, and it's wide to the left. Guelph now with the ball. There's a whistle. And stick down on the floor. Guelph picking up the ball. Barnes knocks it away from Guelph. Another stick to the floor. sure who it belongs to. Referee Mike Jolly cleaning up the floor. Pacers got it out front. Saved by Cole. Cole picks up the ball off to his teammate. Number 27. Jack Burke. Pacers seem to be bringing it down into Guelph Sand a little more often than they have. As they've closed the gap a little more as it's eight to five right now, nine minutes. Remaining, and there's a shot. Barnes, right at Cole Martin. A loose ball, a big scramble out here right now. Burke had the ball. Ooh, Felter Dawson. Number seven for the Pacers. He'll pass it out to Knowles. Knowles struggles to keep on. And it's gone again. Guelph takes it away from him. Seems to be a lot of loose ball happening here right now on both sides. And now back into the Pacers territory. It's interference, I'm told, for number 55, Peyton Cox. Thank you, Rod. Not good for the Pacers. They do not do well when they're shorthanded here, but let's see how they hold things, if they can hold things off against Guelph. Eight to five. Shot in the goal and it's saved. And Noble Jacobs. Knowles with the ball. Pass down the court. Picked up well. 
Armstrong looking for a shot. Conroy now. 21 out front, holding on for an opportunity. Conroy, pass out front. Intercepted by Guelph. One minute remains in the penalty for the Pacers. Eight to five and seven minutes to go, second period. Here's a shot and it's saved. Well done by Noble Jacobs. Knowles again. Fighting off Guelph, trying to get out front. Shot from behind, but... Predicting more action on the floor coming. <laughs> Pacers. Out in front with their goalie, having a conversation. Pacers with another penalty. For roughing, I'm told, it's two minutes. So one will end and another one will begin. Lucas Knowles and Jack Burke for the other guys. Ten seconds on the shot clock. There's a shot. And now four on four here, eight to five, and less than six minutes in this second period here. There's a shot and an interesting goal. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be a question about it. Nine to five as we come to you live from the Point Edward Memorial Arena here tonight. Thanks for joining us, everybody, or this afternoon, I should say. We'll be back here again tomorrow as the Pacers will play host to the Owen Sound North Stars. Be nice to see the Pacers get their first win of the season here. As we go up to center floor and the whistle's off again. McKeegan. Over to Armstrong. Armstrong with a shot. Not quite. Some frustration coming out of Armstrong. And it switches down to the other end quickly. Now in front of the Pacers goalie. Guelph setting things up. Shot and blocked. There's another shot and wide. Guelph. Great control of the ball and a shot. Clock runs out. 30 seconds left for the penalties. Shane Hallowell got that goal for Guelph, making it 9-5. to five. There's another one for the Pacers. They're still in the game here. Now 9-6, to six, only three goals away from tying things up. Four and a half minutes to go here, 4.37 exactly. Still time for the Pacers to get in there. As we've seen them earlier, back-to-back -back goals earlier in this period shows that they're capable of pulling this off. Nine to six and 14 seconds for each side's penalties here. And the back in full strength. And out to center floor. Corey Conroy with a goal for the Pacers. That'll be his second for the season. 
quickly back down. Oh, there's coming a penalty. No, maybe not. It's a shot on the goal. Knowles right out in front. Durko right now with the ball. The pass. A shot and no goal from Corey Burr, who again has 11 goals for this season and two in this game so far. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Out in front of Pacers area. Hollywell, a pass. Hollywell back with the ball, a shot, and saved. And a pass way down, picked up, and a shot, and no goal. But a nice attempt by the Pacers. A great long pass down the floor. By Jacob Knowles. He's Jacob with the ball, looking for a spot. Going right in, and a shot, and a goal. Jacob Knowles, once again, fantastic play by the Pacers, closing in. Right now, 9-7. to seven. And as we said, they're capable. We've seen these back-to-back -back goals, and that one coming up very nicely for Jacob Knowles, 9-7. to seven. And that's where the excitement comes from here, and you can hear the fans getting more excited. Believing in the Pacers here tonight, as they have not yet had a win this season, it could be their first tonight. If they keep playing the way they are, That was Jacob Knowles once again. And our friends at Preferred Towing, we say thank you to them for their support of our broadcast here tonight, Tammy and Gary. Check them out on Heavy Rescue 401. Of course, Season 2 already done. I'm told they will be back Season 3 on the Discovery Channel, Preferred Towing. And I'm proud to say I worked for them 26 years ago. So I worked for them for three years, and then life changed. And here I am. <laughs> Yes, uh, credit to Blaine Adams also for assist on that goal for Jacob Knowles. Nine to seven, three minutes left. Hollywell with the ball for Guelph. He's looking for a spot. Knocked away by the Pacers, and they'll take it way down. A pass, a beautiful pass. A shot and no goal. Great attempt by Nate Armstrong for the Pacers. And now Guelph. Gavin Lang, he'll pass it off to Jean-Luc. Not attempting that last name. <laughs> At least it's not hockey. All right, Guelph out front again at Pacers, looking to Halliwell with a shot, 9-7. to seven. Pacers doing well at playing catch-up here. They're only two goals away from tying things up. Bit of a line change here for Guelph. Pacers up and against the boards. A backhanded pass. It went just a little too far for Guelph. Pacers trying to pick things up here. Number seven for Guelph, a shot. And here we go. Carter knocked away. Jerko looking to take the ball back. Knocks it away, but Guelph picks it back up quickly. Knowles is in the way for Guelph. 21 all the way down, fighting his way in a shot and a goal. Got to give him credit for pushing through on that. 10-7. So Pacers catching up and now just falling back a bit, but still time as we've seen them within seconds of each other get two goals. So minute 24 to go, 10-7 to 7 here right now, live from the Point Everett Memorial Arena. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for all of our sponsors, and thanks to you for watching. We'll be here for all the home games. Back again tomorrow as the Pacers will take on the Owen Sound North Stars. And hopefully by the end of this game here, Pacers with their first win for the season. Guelph with the ball. Quickly down into the end of the Pacers zone. A shot 
gone wrong there for Guelph. Twenty-seven. Jack Burke with the goal for Guelph. There's a shot and saved. Last minute of play here in the second period. Pacers looking for a setup. Knowles with a shot. Pass. There's a goal right there. Number 18, Corey Burr. That will make it his third of the game and 12th of the season here. And the leading scorer for the Pacers saying, we're still here. We're not going anywhere. It's now 10-8. to 8. Pacers, got to give them credit for still pushing on hard. Seemed like we were having deja vu at the beginning of this game here in the first period as things were tied and then the spread came out. But now they've changed things. It's 10-8 to 8 here. Center floor right now. Guelph with the ball. Game on. Here we go. Guelph says we got to do something. Is there a shot and saved? John Watson and Mike Jolly, referees here tonight for the Pacers. Blaine Adams, he runs in, looking for a spot. Hands it off. Loose ball, picked up. Oh, a knockdown, super hard. Nate Armstrong. And here we go, we're going to see something happening here. Number 44. That was just nasty. Referee not letting that happen as we run out of time here in the second period. Brutal hit there. Ouch is all that comes to mind for me. 18, Corey Burr having words with Mike Jolly. And now Corey Conroy having a conversation with referee. And we'll see. What becomes here of the Pacers as we take a, about a nine and a half minute break here? 10 to eight. Pacers doing well at catching up here. They're not out of the game yet. They're certainly not anywhere near where they were at the last home game when the spread caught them away and things just fell apart. But still, not a win yet. They're going to have to come out here in the third period to play things super hard to catch things up as it is 10 to eight. But still doable for the Pacers. Now we're seeing some things happening out here. Conversation with the referees. Steve Baker on the floor. To be a fly on the shoulder. <laughs> Can you have you got zoom in microphone on that thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alrighty, well ten to eight right now as Guelph leads over the Pacers. Just by two, still time for the Pacers to catch things up. And uh, we're going to take a short little break right now, and we'll come back to you in about eight minutes' time, broadcasting for the Video Show Network, Junior B Lacrosse Pacers. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in a few moments.
Life is 24-7, and so is the 2-in-1 helpline in Ontario. Looking for a service or some help and don't know who to call? Make the connection and call 2-in-1 or visit their website at 2-in-1ontario.ca. This segment is brought to you by Philly Cheese Jake's, located at 988 Confederation Street in Sarnia. Fill your hunger and visit them online at phillycheesejakes.com. on the Video Show Network. Thanks for joining us here, everybody. Curious about the conversation that happened out there. I think it had something to do with that incredibly hard face front hit. Is that what you'd call that, face front hit? And no penalty called, so conversations with our uh, general managers and coaches. Having conversations with Mike Jolly. And John Watson, who are the officials here tonight. As the Pacers behind only by two, which as we've seen here, can change very quickly. The Pacers worked very hard at catching things up. And we'll see what the plan is now as the Pacers also coming back out of the floor right now. 20 minutes at an opportunity to get their first win here tonight, but first they're going to have to tie things up with two goals. I suspect they're going to come out really strong here and try to make things move quickly. Pacers and Guelph out on the floor, and here we go. Fight for the ball. And it's loose. Guelph picks it up. Burke has the ball. Over to Kurtz. And underway here again. Guelph already out in front of the Pacers territory. A shot and a goal. It just kind of walked right in there against number 39 Noble Jacobs goalie for the lacrosse Pacers 11 to 8 not the way the Pacers wanted to see things start off here Dawson Vowder and Reed Kurtz fight for the ball loose ball Kurtz will pick it up. The 222s together out here. Jack McCauley. Kurtz running right in. And a pass off. Guelph setting things up nicely. Now just looking for the spot for a shot. Very wide. Kurtz will pick it up again. Here's a shot. And Pacers ball, number 17. Kevin Jerko right in and a goal. That's what they're looking for. That quick breakaway, 11 to 9. They're not letting it get away from them. But they still haven't played catch up completely enough. Well, they've got to get a win. Short seasons with 20 games to be played. 10, of course, here at home. And thanks to our friends at AG Event Graphics. Ask Guy. you got to say that slowly. AskGuy.ca. All their support here. Uh, banners, truck wraps, car wraps. And they do all of our signage and tents. Thank you, Guy and Kevin, down at AG Event Graphics. 11 to 9. Still only a minute and a half into this third period. And it would seem the Pacers have a little bit more passing going on than we've seen a little bit earlier. Strong pass and a setup, but no goal. 
21 will pick it up, and it's wide to the top left. Nate Armstrong making his attempt. Another shot in the goal. And <laughs> There's a loud whistle or something. Knowles, or sorry, uh, yeah, Knowles with the ball. Over to Jerko. With ball in hand and a pass over to Halliwell. Kurt's getting in position for Guelph. There's a pass and a shot attempt. Noble Jacobs. And a loose ball out by the Pacers. Dawson Vowder with the ball right now. Dwayne Adams. Pass over to Jerko. Jerko running in. Pass again over to Knowles. He's looking for the shot. And it's saved by Cole Martin. Fans here in anticipation tonight of seeing a win for the first time from the Pacers this season. Something they need to stay alive here. Need two goals to tie it up. Opportunity ticking away though. 16 minutes in the third and final period here. There's a shot out front, and no. Cole Martin says, you're not getting by me this time. It's another shot, a little wide. There's a whistle and 12th ball. Thanks to Fabi Fabian Jagu and Associates from the co-operators for all their support here of a broadcast as well. And Truly very caring individuals at the co-operators. Fabian Jagu, thank you for your support. He was also a part of Sarnia Sing, singing the finale. We had a lot of fun with that. Size crowd here tonight. Not sure the number yet, but it's always nice to see the fans out showing support here in Point Everett for your Junior B Lacrosse Pacers as they're behind by two at 11 to nine, and now in the penalty box, five on four now. Lucas Knowles in the penalty box. Two minutes for checking. I think I heard. It's number 77 running in with a shot and no goal. Top of the post. But a nice attempt by Jacob Knowles. And the whistle goes on. Knowles 
Looking to get out front. Guelph knocks the ball away from Knowles. They'll come down now. Bit of a lineup change here for both sides. Just checking in the crease for Knowles. An apparent no-no. <laughs> but not good for the Pacers when they're still down two. They don't do well when they're shorthanded out there. Guelph has taken advantage of the power play every time on a shot and a goal, and they take advantage of it again. As it looks like number 18, Shane Halliwell will get credit for that one, and it's now 12 to 9 with 13.54 here as we head back out to center court. Don't forget, we will be back here again tomorrow, 3 o'clock game time, as the Pacers will host the Owen Sound North Stars.